excited to talk to you about my April favorite. I guess I should say who I am. I'm Kelly, I'm an associate editor here at The Every Girl. I am really excited to talk to you about this Book. It's called The Myth of the Nice Girl. Immediately after I finished it, I texted my sister-in-law like, you need to read this. <laughs> this is important. The book is all about redefining what being nice means. It's about, you know, saying being nice does not have to mean being weak or being ineffectual at your job or being nice is not the opposite of being a leader. And I think this is so important for women to hear. So if you've ever been told that you're too nice in the workplace, this is such a great career guide for you to pick up and read. There's so much amazing advice for negotiating your salary, for speaking up in meetings, for how to present yourself at your place of business that are just crucial and wonderful. It's like having a mentor in your pocket. You could fit this large hardcover book in your pocket. The book is available now and buy it, read it, absorb it. I read like a book every week, so I know what I'm talking about. Hi everyone, I'm Rachel. I am the managing editor of The Every Mom. And my favorite thing this month is the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial. It's an AHA BHA peel, so basically it's an extreme exfoliator, and you put it on once a week as a mask. You wear it for about 15 minutes, and then you rinse it off, and your skin is literally as soft as a baby's bottom. It is like glowing the next day. I'm sort of obsessed with it. I usually follow it up with any sort of oil. I like this Acure Argan Oil that you can get at Target. Okay, so about a month or two ago, I started this really bad habit that I would go to Starbucks every single morning. It started out I would get a tall Americano, iced Americano, and then one time I was like, you know what, I'm really tired, I'm gonna get a grande iced Americano. Within days, I had moved on to a venti Americano, and suddenly I had this very serious problem that every morning I was going to Starbucks and shelling out the cash for a venti iced Americano with a little bit of almond milk, which is delicious and it was great. My productivity was like through the roof, but it was very expensive. I started using um, our coffee maker. We have an espresso in the office. Um, and so now everyone keeps making fun of me in the office because I have been literally obsessed with making my own Americanos. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that right now. Okay, so Americanos usually have anywhere from like one to four shots of espresso. And then one time I had one with five and that was a great day. Normally they're like two or three shots of espresso. So when I make them in the office, I do it with two shots of espresso and I'm really trying to come back. And so I do one espresso and one decaf espresso. So first, this one is a, a caffeinated one, but it really doesn't matter which one you do first. So I do the one shot water and then leave room for the next shot and whatever milk. So then they can start mixing with the espresso. And then I'm gonna put one more shot. Okay, so now I'm putting my second shot right on in there. Okay, so now we're back over here. So I have my two shots of espresso and filled up with water. So now I'm gonna add however many ice cubes I really want that day. Uh, but this is obviously the part that makes it iced, so it is important. 